control the center and you can control the game. We may have heard that it's important to control the center and develop our pieces as close to the center as possible, but what exactly does this mean? The center squares are e4, d4, d5, and e5. A popular as well as strong opening move for white is to play e4. White moves a pawn directly in the center, controlling the d5 and f5 squares in black's territory, and it also opens up lines for white's light squared bishop and queen to quickly enter the game. A good response for black is to play the same move, e5. By controlling the center, both sides prevent enemy pawns from entering their territory. If white tries to force two pawns in the center with e4, threatening black's pawn on e5, it's important for black to break up white's pawn center with e takes d4. When white's dreams of taking over the center with pawns have been shattered, so black should not have any serious problems in the opening. Is the center really that important to control? What happens if black wants to move pawns on the edge of the board, such as a6? Pawn moves are important when they can control key squares, especially in the center, and when they open up lines for pieces to enter the game. This move does not control an important central square, and it only allows the rook to move to a7, not exactly improving black's position. Since black does not want to control the important center, don't be shy. Let's take the center for ourselves with d4. White's pawn duo control key squares in black's camp, c5, d5, e5, and f5, making it difficult for black to activate pieces on these squares. If black continues to make meaningless pawn moves such as h6, black has no central control, and besides the pawns, only four pieces can move. The knights, which were already able to move at the start of the game, and each rook only has one square. Not a good start to the game for black. White's pieces, on the other hand, enjoy great freedom. White's queen and two bishops enjoy open lines, and white's knights are ready to jump into the game with a move like knight f3. What happens if black wakes up from a deep sleep and decides to start developing pieces toward the center with knight to c6? Pieces need pawns in the center so they are not constantly attacked. Since black does not have a pawn on d5, White can simply march forward with d5, grabbing space and attacking black's knight, forcing it to waste time by moving again. Black should admit the mistake and retreat the knight, but instead decides to move the knight to the edge of the board with knight a5. Most pieces do not like being on the edge of the board, and the knight is especially weak as it only controls four squares. Compare this to white's knight on f3. It controls eight total squares twice as many squares as black's knight on a5 controls. More importantly, black's knight doesn't have any safe squares, so white can attack this poorly placed piece with b4. If black does nothing, white will simply win a piece. So after knight c4, black's knight has already moved three times, and white can now develop a piece and win the knight with bishop takes c4. Black is in serious trouble but should at least try to prevent white's central pawns from advancing with d6. Instead, black plays knight f6. Knights love to be close to the center of the board, but you have to prevent enemy pawns from attacking them. Since black has not controlled the center with pawns, how can white gain space and attack black's knight? That's right, once again by advancing a center pawn with e5. Black should once again retreat the knight, admitting another mistake, but decides to lunge forward with knight g4. Notice most of black's escape squares are controlled by pawns. Even black's pawn on h6 prevents a potential knight retreat. How can white win more material? If you found h3, nice work. If black takes the e5 pawn, white simply captures it with the knight on f3. If black plays knight takes f2, at least grabbing a pawn before losing the knight, White should not be afraid to move the king. Let's win material with king takes f2. By controlling the center with pawns and actively developing pieces toward the center, White took advantage of black's careless play and is simply up two pieces with an excellent position. Now it's time to practice taking over the center in the challenges.